Hey guys, welcome back to the channel guys. Finally we're ready to pull the engine out of that parts car, that Land Rover Discovery that we have guys, you know. So we had to cut everything on the front, check it out guys, here we had to cut everything. We're going to connect now, okay, the cherry picker, the engine hoist, so we can pull that thing out. And you can see how bad the frame on that thing is, you can see how it's bent here, terrible. So we disconnected everything guys. And as you know, this is the other rover right here, the other engine overheated, and this is this is the rover itself. Uh, we're going to fix this one real nice, really low mileage. But hey, this one, as you know, it was like 300 bucks, 350 bucks, has excellent interior, minus the airbag. So we just need to disconnect a couple more things now. Uh, we have the power steering hose right here, that was still holding. Okay, and we have the wires for the starter which are hard to get to, uh, so we're gonna just pick it up a little bit, okay, and uh, see how it's gonna go after that, okay, everything's here now, let me check how it's going, if everything is loose, it's still stuck, stuck really bad, so we need to go ahead and see what is still holding, because Okay, one thing about it is like when the vehicle is wrecked, you never know, it twists the frame sometimes if it's bad. And what happens, transmission will be a little bit under pressure, engine two, engine mounts. This one actually has two broken engine mounts. You can check it out right here, guys. You can see how bad those things are completely, completely separated. Okay, let's just give it a push a little bit. And it's still holding somewhere. So we need to, we need to see what's going on here. We probably forgot a bolt or something. Let's check it out quick here usually. It's really hard to get on this side. Okay, here everything's loose. No bolts. Okay. So let's see what else it could be. It's. It, it looks like a little bit like exhaust is holding as well on the engine block. So we need to make sure. Okay, let's give it a push. Nope. Okay, so we have to see what it is. I think we forgot one ball there. From the way it looks. And ignition codes on that thing, it's super hard to get, you have to remove intake and all that stuff. So if you guys ever do engine removal or engine replacement, make sure you service everything you can get to. Otherwise that rover is not so much fun to work on. And another thing about this engine, it has EGR, okay, so you know it has the emission pump, secondary air pump, the other one doesn't. This one does not have the EGR intake, so we need to swap those and we need to get the EGR, the lead kit for the heads actually. Because otherwise we don't want to use our heads, those are overheated, so they're, they're pretty, pretty bad. Okay, let's see if we have any improvement here now. See what it is guys, if not we're gonna pause for a second. I remove that bolt and we'll have a live session in a little bit, pulling it out so we can actually see what is going on with it and if we forgot a bolt or two something. Okay, now we're gonna lay underneath it. It's, it's that thing as you almost think that you have everything. Okay, let me see here quick. And something else always, always in the way. Okay, so see you guys in a little bit. We're gonna have a live session in, in, a, in a couple minutes just to remove the bow that we have on the bottom.